So, tell me more. I want to know everything. There isn't really much more to tell. Don't say that. No, really, that's like everything. Well, it's enough for me. You don't have to be so nice to me. I mean, it's sort of unfashioned considering what we're about to do. What are we about to do? Well, um, I thought you might walk me home because I guess you're sort of attracted to me. And then you come up and have a coffee. I don't drink coffee. And we talk and maybe have a drink and then you, well, you'd sleep over. And in the morning you wouldn't be able to stay for breakfast and you'd just have a coffee. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. And then we'd exchange phone numbers, but you'd never call. And I'd go to work, and I'd feel so good for maybe the first hour or so, and then by lunchtime I'd feel like dirt. <sighs> I don't want to put myself through this. I'm sorry, I have to go. Hey, excuse me. I look, I, I'm feeling really ill. Well, no wonder. We just met made love and broke up all in the space of 30 seconds. And I can't even remember the first kiss, which is the best part. You're really nice. Oh, but... so are you, but I think maybe you need to shut up now. I'm not coming up to your apartment. That was, that was never my idea. Oh God, you don't want to. No, no, I want to. I've got a heart on for you the size of Canada, but I don't just want one night. I have a confession to make. You're married? No. You're divorced? No. Um, I... You have a disease? <laughs> Will you stop? I'm in love with you. It's not just from tonight. I've known you for a long time. I see you come out of work every day. I walk with you to lunch. <laughs> I know what you order. Uh, see you buy that little packet of Maltesers before you go back in. I know how you feel on certain days, why, whether or not you go into the bookshop. I know you hate your job and you don't have many friends. And sometimes you feel like you're not as wonderful as everyone else. And you're a little uncoordinated. And feeling like you're the only one, as separate and alone as you are. <laughs> and I love you. I love you. I think you're the greatest thing since Spice Racks. And I'd be knocked out several times if I even just got a, f a first kiss. But I'll be, I'll be back in the morning and I won't be distant. And I'll call if you let me. You're real, aren't you? <sighs> you can call. She never gave me her phone number.